Hello. I am Hot Mess Ness Ebuwe, otherwise known as Vanessa. And today, today I thought it would be a fantabulous idea to film a tag video at um, 11.15 at night. So um, the ring light is so bright that I went into the closet to put on a shirt to pretend like I dressed up for this and I uh, ran into the wall. Yeah, so anyway, good times. Anyway, today's tag video is going to be the single eyeshadow tag. Um, I started like a little segue into my single collection. I did a single eyeshadow collection video and then I started doing some videos on curating singles and I thought this was perfect to place the tag in the middle of this kind of moment. I don't want to get too stuck on one thing, but that's kind of how my mind works sometimes. Like, I, I want to do this, but then there are other things I should probably be filling in, like the Jeffree Star cosmetic stuff that I was going to put up and haven't even touched yet. That's me for you. So, single eyeshadow tag. Originally, I did see this done by I'm sorry I'm late you're so I'm cute late. um originally I saw Angelica Angelica Nyquist do this video and it was actually created by one of the most beautiful women I have ever seen um her name is Zenya Z Z-E-Y-N, San. I'm probably butchering her name. So I, I, you know, you do the thing. You go to Angie's video, he was like, oh, that's cool. Put a pin in it, right? And um, I screenshotted the girl's questions and then I went to watch her video and I was enthralled with this woman. The way she speaks about eyeshadows and colors and textures. Number one, I felt a little more stupid after listening to her, but totally enthralled. And she talked about things in such a way like someone that would explain fine dining or someone that could actually interpret art through words. I'd just be like, wow, that's so flipping beautiful. I can't, you know what I mean? very well spoken the most amazing head of hair i've ever seen in my life she's like i saw her and i was like in my next life i want to come back looking like her so now that i've acted really weird and creepy stalker status make sure you go check her out i'm gonna leave her linked down below but i'm telling you she the verbiage man just beautifully spoken uh, a peach and uh, the way that she talked about eyeshadow, like got me all excited, you know, like, oh yes, explain texture, explain colors, use big words that I don't use on the regular because I have no use for them. I'm sure my children would appreciate them and then I'd be like, I don't know what I'm saying. So we're gonna get on to the tag video now. Okay, so number one question of the eyeshadow collection tag, crown jewels slash gaps in collection slash wish list. The very, and I, I wrote it down because I film on my iPhone, so can't use it to scroll, I know, whatever. Um, number one question, do you prefer singles or palettes? I like both because I'm an addict. No, honestly. Um, I love singles because of what you can do with them. And I find that most of the single eyeshadows that I have purchased because it's, indie brands have better quality than most of the curated palettes. And I'm talking, when I started buying singles, at the time I was still buying a lot of Too Faced and Urban Decay and those kind. So when you compared the overall integrity of product and how performance-wise, blendability, that kind of thing, my singles, I mean, way above and beyond most of those curated palettes from way back when. So 
that's kind of, I guess, the, the pull to both. I love eyeshadow palettes because of packaging, because of color stories, and it kind of takes the guesswork out, so I don't have to think too much. When you grab it, an eyeshadow palette, it's there and you use it. And if you already have something in your head, you can grab two. Sometimes with singles, because I keep them separated by brand and they're not perfectly placed and curated, I feel like I have to curate ahead of time so it's easier to just grab a palette. But my, my love is my singles. I know if things got crazy and I had to bounce, I'd be worried about my Z palettes more than I would be worried about most of my regular palettes. And I think that's another reason why I've never felt like I needed the Natasha Denona's and the Pat McGrath's. And I, I know a lot of people out there swear and love those particular brands. But because so many of my singles are such good quality, I've always felt like, well, I probably already have that. And I know that people are saying Pat McGrath has some really special shades, but a lot of my indies have already had that for a long time, those kind of very special multi-chromes or duochrome shifts that are like, oh, that's so neat. You don't see that in palettes, but you see it from indies. So that was a really long answer. I love both. My singles are like my pride, my joy. My palettes are, People click on videos to watch new palettes, right? They want to know what the tea is. And it's a color story created for you. If you feel like you need something else, you can grab two ABH palettes and, and be good because they're smaller. Okay, I covered that. Number two, when did you start buying singles and what got you into them? So I think I started buying singles in... I'd say 2014. Yeah, I'd say it was 2014. So I have to say that because I was an avid YouTube watcher, and this is something that I think is very interesting because Marlena touched on this in her Dear Influencers video where she thanked Jaclyn Hill for that, you know, cross pollination. Uh, I was being exposed to Makeup Geek single eyeshadows through people like Jaclyn Hill and I loved her and I respected her and I thought that her recommendations were always good so I wanted that too only because of my addictive tendencies it was like I can't just buy two it's every time they had a collection I wanted to get the entire collection so 2014 I think it was and then once you start the way YouTube algorithm kind of works, right? You're watching a Jaclyn Hill video on Makeup Geek singles, and then all of a sudden other things pop up in your recommendeds on singles. And then going into Instagram. I know that Angela Mary Tanner and her co-partner ColourPop Colts really visually got me for single eyeshadows. They got me into the indies. And once I started looking at all of their swatches of Luxie and Davina, then I started, you know, YouTube searching for reviews so I could visually see them on someone do tutorials and stuff like that. And that's how I found Angie um, because she was one of the very first people I ever saw do Luxie and then Davina. And once I saw that, I'm like, I have to have them. So thank Jaclyn Hill, Makeup Geek. Angela Mary Tanner and Angelica Nyquist. So number three, what are your favorite brands or slash formulas of single shadows? I think anybody that's, if you're new to my channel, I am an affiliate for some of my favorite indies, um, but you go through my channel and you'll see. I haven't really gone out of my box. Once I discovered that I loved Luxie, Davina, and Sydney Grace, that's kind of, I get blinders. It's hard for me to go into other things sometimes because I'm like, I love these so much. Why would I want to mess around with those other ones? Now, when I first started consuming uh, different makeup brands, I wanted to try, oh, I got to try a little bit of this and a little bit of that. But I could tell you all these different brands and why I love them. 
Sauce Box has amazing mats because they're dependable, they blend well, and I could use them and I know exactly what I'm gonna get out of them, uh, especially, like I said, the mats. Um, some shimmers are okay, I like them. Uh, now that my collection is so big, I don't find myself reaching for them on the regular, but they're good. Uh, Sydney Grace, excuse me, are, are you, are you done? Are you doing a drink? Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Sydney Grace, once I discovered their matte formula, mind blown, because it is so extremely pigmented, it's like one swipe wonder. <clears throat> my dog's taking a drink. Um, and they blend, and the beautiful thing about Sydney Grace is they can be used on so many different kinds of skin tones. From light to dark, you can make it work, whereas a lot of these other brands don't always work like that. So I love them for that. Davina has, I personally love their matte formula. It reminds me of ABH. It's very soft and powdery and my eyelids, you know, especially my creases need a little help sometimes. And it's very, very easy to blend and I love them. It's not, some people feel, you know, either or. Whereas Sydney Grace is a firmer, in the pan and Davina is softer. I love them both for different reasons. Look see, I fell in love with their matte formula to start with. Again, their original matte formula is soft like Davina's. Their new matte formula is more firmly pressed. And I like the new one too. Her Aurora's and her duochromes for Look see are gorgeous. To me, it's what people are looking for from the Pat McGrath style. Granted, I don't own Pat McGrath, and maybe people that own would argue with me, but I love them, and I think they're beautiful. So, essentially, those were my favorites, right? But recently, I started getting more ColourPop, and I'm like, these ones are really nice, too. So it just depends on what you're looking for, but definitely my top picks are Sydney Grace, Luxie, and Davina. And recently I'm enjoying more of ColourPop, but ColourPop can sometimes be hit or miss. I've had some shades that are duds, but that's every brand, let's be real. Number four, this is the fun, fun one. Pick three crown jewels of your collection and what would they be? Okay, regardless of this being fun, it's incredibly hard because it can change for me from day to day. But I tried to go through really quick. I mean, like from ColourPop, it sounds so silly, but I love these, the little pressed glitters because it instantly amplifies any look, right? Like I could do a totally boring whatever look and I could pop one of these on the lid and then I'm sparkly magic goodness. Now it's everywhere. Now it's on my pants. And then I really, really, really like, so I'm having an obsession with pressed glitters these days, but I love Davina pressed glitters. They had these ones that were more of a topper um, and like that soft iridescence. And then she has straight up glitter. And these ones aren't goopy at all. This is like somehow she pressed a bunch of glitter and it doesn't fall out. These in a way are like a crown jewel that I use all the time and people, okay, tone it. That's why I can't speak proper English. What did you say? So even though these aren't crazy, strange, interesting duochromes, they're glitters, but they're in a pan and I love that. These have become part of my everyday magical like I just want to turn it up. But now I'm going to show you some of my absolute favorite shades. So I got it in my little Davina and it's kind of funny because these are like special amazing shades that I love. And then, and, but it doesn't mean I use them all the time. They're just really special. And these are really just matte shades, but they're matte shades that I love. Um, so I'm gonna show them to you. I feel like I'm sharing some kind of magical secret. Okay, so this one is Sydney Grace Megalodon. 
and it's just a really cool color and I don't even like wear a lot of like blues on I just don't but it's pretty and magical and fun and I like it then this one is called Menelaus this one is Davina and it was from the butterfly collection so it's when they first started doing some of the new multi-chromes but they don't have the black base so the black base i feel like makes them pop a little bit more when you're doing like an instagram story but these ones actually look better on the eyes you don't look like you have someone punching you if you blend it out and they're just so beautiful now this one is from the Galaxy Dust collection. It's another Davina. It's called Celestia. And it's it's just cool. It's like a topper kind of, but then it's also a shifter. So you'll see it shifts. You can kind of shear them down or you can wear them wet. So if you see on my hand, it's like kind of sheared but you can build them up and it's got a crazy crazy sheen to it and kind of a glitter to it too it's just it's cool okay this next one is a topper another one from Davina this is called Rents, and this is from the Willy Wonka inspired collection and they're a little bit flaky you have to be a little careful with them and they go best on top of a glitter glue and they have a shift but a topper, but if you wear them wet, they're completely, you can make them completely opaque. So it's, it's one of those that you can do what you want with it. So it'll shift, you can shear it down, use it as a topper, or when applied wet, it becomes something completely opaque and bold and beautiful, and I love it. Look at that, it's just so pretty. This is the kind of stuff that like, I could just stare at. I just want to look at you. Okay, this is a Sydney Gray shade. It's called Blondie, and it's just a classic pinky shade. But let's take off the broken watch. Yes, I like it like that. But it's just a pretty, perfectly pink, the kind of shade that I would just throw on the lid because I need to open up my eyes, look fresh. It's really a standard shade, but I love it. I love it. Here's a really, here's a really pretty shade from Luxie. It's called Not That Deep. It's a newer one. And it's a really pretty, like turquoisey kind of blue. You can see it's got a pretty shift to it. And I don't even wear a lot of blues, but I just love the shade. I think it's special, it's pretty. And I like it. It's a little similar to Megalodon. You'll see that I like similar things. And then the four bottom ones are mattes and they're not anything crazy. They're just shades that I love. And therefore it becomes a crown jewel. This one is called Tacienda. And it's from Davina. I love this shade. I use it in my outer V on the regular all the time. This one is also from Davina. It's called Passion, and it is the perfect, if I can make sure my fingers are clean, it's like this perfectly mauve pinky shade, and it's like everyone needs this color in their collection. It's so good. I love it so much, and I can use the two together. This is one of my favorites from Sydney Grace. It's just a matte, and I love it. It's called West Coast. You see, I've created a little color story here. And this one is called Bitter, and it's, it's a special one because Luxie had discontinued this one. It was part of a specific collection and she opened up her vault and asked for requests, and this is one I requested, and she made it. So I love the shade, but it's also like sentimental for the fact that a brand listens. And it's just a little more red than 
the other ones, but you can see I like my mattes in a very similar tonage. And then I have one more from Looksee. It's a purple shade, it's called Lala, and I can't seem to find it anywhere. <laughs> okay, on to number five. Which brand singles do you want to try in the future? And I have a couple. Number one is JD Glow. I've heard a lot of people talk about JD Glow. Um, I've seen some really pretty swatches. It's been a brand that's intrigued me and I've just never jumped off the wagon. Another one was Chaos Makeup. They had one of the first ones that I've seen do those multi-chromes that have blown everybody's minds, but the price point was a bit crazy. The next one is Cleo Cleonad, Cleo Cleonad. I will never say that correctly, but a lot of my friends on YouTube have talked about them. Uh, their stained glass collection looks really pretty. I'm kind of curious if they're anywhere similar to Davina's because some of the stained glass ones look like they're toppers or they're very sheer, uh, but yet still have that multi-chrome. So I'm curious, they're just another brand that's pricier so sometimes you're afraid to take that leap in case something's just me when your collection grows sometimes you hit the brakes on that stuff and then the next one is nabla i've heard nabla's shimmers are beautiful that their matte singles are gorgeous and i just haven't haven't tried those yet so if there's any other brands that you're like how have you not tried x y and z in single form please let me know down in the comments Right. Now on to number six. What, if any, are some of your single shadow gaps? So I feel like I probably have enough of the single kind of foiled shades. These are Makeup Geek. Not a lot of them have a lot of different color tonage. Some of the duochromes do, but it's like straight purple, straight blue, straight, and they're beautiful, right? I have three or four palettes full of Luxy that are the same way. Luxy is kind of venturing into this territory more and I'm seeing some brands do it, but I'd like to get more of the, sh you know, shimmers with more glitter in them. Ultra, you know, ultra fine glitters. And I find that Urban Decay's formulas when you find some of the palettes from the past, have a lot of those. And some of my indies are dabbling in that more. Like you'll see these Davina ones have some glitter in them. Um, some Luxy ones have some glitter in them. This one, it's an older one, it's Siren of the Sea, and it has some glitter in it. I just feel like that there's some tones that are missing that don't have as much glitter. So I'd like to see some more shimmers with more multi-tonal glitters to them. You can see I got more and more and more shimmer. I feel like at this point, my singles are missing some inter, what is the proper word for like lighter variations of color in my mattes? I've, I need, more pull with the purple in mattes. Davina did a really good thing with their Harmony collection and started filling in gaps in their palettes or in their singles arsenal, right? But I'd like to see Sydney Grace do some more color, you know, give us a matte yellow in various tones, um, an orange yellow, um, a more bright yellow, a warm yellow. You know, there's so many different places to go with that, but I definitely feel even though mattes are my love, I know shimmers get the most excitement out of people. So I feel like I'd like to see more color come into my collection, but in mattes, and I'm not talking red. Oh gosh, I got a red. I got a thousand regular reds but give me various tones of red, a red purple. Um, that's the kind of things that I'm missing right now in my collection. Um, I don't, I have a couple neons. Uh, Davina had some neons and so did ColourPop. 
I don't really feel like I need more of that, but just some pull, more color, but give me varying degrees of color in my mats. That would make me very happy. Number seven, how many do you have? Oh, wow. I don't, I don't even know. Let's just put it this way. I swatched 167 Sydney Grace shadows last year for the sale. So that was Sydney Grace last year. And I know with look -see, I have about six of the extra large palettes like this, like this, you know, uh, there's a lot, there's a lot. I don't know if this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, seven times five, 35, 35 times six. I have, yeah, I don't know. You know what, if I count them, I'll leave that in the edit. Sorry I made you listen to me. Um, try to count. Favorite way to store them. Okay, so that's why all these palettes are out here. I have a couple favorites. I like the um, Altar, because it's pretty, right? And you can do like this, like this. I don't want to lose any babies. So I like this, but my favorite, favorite, favorite way is when you can see in. So I like to have something designed. Hey ladies, I like to have a really pretty design on the outside and a clear top so I can see them. So the Z palettes are always my favorite way because they have fun designs. And for a while I was trying to do like color coordinate so I could just look at it and know, okay, this is gonna be, you know, my yellow green, um, but they don't have enough different varieties out there. And then I tried to keep my looksies together like this for a while and then you kind of run out of things. The double-sided Sephora is nice too, um, but I find more and more, I just prefer the extra large with any kind of pattern on the outside so I can see what's on the inside. I also really like the Davina one. She did one like this with the little mermaid kind of thing and it's fun and I know specifically that this is holding like my topper shades. It's like, ooh, super sparkly and pretty, topper shades. And then recently I discovered the ColourPop ones. These are super inexpensive. And so far I've tried not to buy duplicates. So that way I know, okay, this pink one is my glitters, but I'm sure that'll all go out the window unless they keep coming out with more. So that way I know what's where. Last question, number eight. Does your single collection lean towards a certain color family? Is one color fam more overrepresented? If so, what is it? As much as I love color, you can see that I lean toward two different things. Neutral shades and anything with that pinky mauve mint tone. So I have boom, boom, boom. These go up here. Like here's another various shade of this, but it might lean more pink or orange. You know what I mean? Like those warm neutrals, but you throw in the kind of pinky mauve tone and it oversaturates all. Like if you pulled out my ColourPop palettes, I have tons of those, but they're my favorite to use. So it's redundant, but boom, boom, boom. Obviously these are all, this looks like a Morphe 350 palette, but better quality. Um, a lot of that oranges for a hot minute, red, orange, orange, orange. And then from Sydney Grace, I'm really bad because when I was trying to buy all the shades at once, not all at once, but I was trying to buy them here and there. Um, I'm pretty sure that I got some duplicates. I need an Excel spreadsheet. So you can see boom, boom, boom. All that mid-tone, either pinky mauve or regular just straight neutral shades. And yet again, I do it some more. Boom, 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 boom. But they're my favorite. I love them. Okay, so that is the end of the single shadow tag. I probably made it much too long, much longer than it needed to be and was not as eloquent as the other people that spoke. But 
I mean, there are some really cool singles out there that I just, they make you excited to play with makeup, you know? And I think that's part of the fun of singles because they're usually special. And a lot of the ones that I get feel that love because they are indie. So guys, that's the end of the eyeshadow collection, tag, expansion, whatever video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and I hope I don't look too crazy. Let me know down below in the comments if you have a favorite single eyeshadow by brand, color, anything. I'd love to know. So, um, more on, oh, my single, that's it. I'm just done. I'm, I'm done talking now. As always, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye. Don't forget, you can subscribe down here and for more videos, click over here possibly there. There's places to click. Click them. Click them all.